Good, good afternoon. Um, I'm Christine Gertz. I am here um, right now wearing my PCORI hat. Um, I want to thank the Academy and the organizers for inviting me to um, to present on, on PCORI. PCORI may be um, the new kid on the block when it, when it comes to funding agencies. We were um, created as part of the um, Affordable Care Act and uh, just a little over eight years ago and um, our mission is to fund comparative um, clinical effectiveness research that helps people make informed health care decisions and improves health care delivery and outcomes by primarily by producing and promoting high integrity evidence-based information that comes from research guided by patients, caregivers, and the broader healthcare community. Our goals are really to, as the goals of every other organization here, to um, create more, you know, an opportunity for more research to be conducted, to speed the implementation and use of patient-centered outcomes, and then to influence research that's funded by others to be more patient-centered. And it's really around that area of patient-centered that that PCORI distinguishes itself from from other funding agencies in in some important ways and we engage patients, caregivers, clinicians, insurers, employers, and other stakeholders throughout the research process in a, at, a, at a level that I, I think is um, becoming a little bit more common, but was, was a lot more unusual when we, we started eight years ago. And to give you some examples of what that means, we, um, we engage, we require that investigators include patients in the development of their proposals and, and well, patients, caregivers, and other stakeholders in proposal development, in actually the conduct of the research, and um, and then in their dissemination efforts. We also include um, patients and other stakeholders as reviewers um, when we're when we're deciding what applications that we should fund. We also dissemination and implementation. I you know I I hope that that is the take home message. You know in many ways from from what we're talking to, uh, to uh, this workshop the next couple of days. And um, Bacori is also very committed to dissemination and implementation. Um, we are mandated by our statute to provide public information about the the studies that we that we fund. We're also um, taking it a step further. We're interested in targeted dissemination efforts. Some of those. We really want to raise um, awareness of our findings at the actual point of care, so w in ways that make it matter for both patients and um, and their um, and their physicians. So, so some of our products include the evidence update for clinicians and patients, um, continuing medical education efforts, and um, engagement awards, which are, um, are which are focused on dissemination. Our implementation um, awards look at implementation of PCORI funded um, efforts, so you can actually get funding for that for um, implementation, as well as um, implementation of our major research investments. We also collaborate with our or with ARC, HRQ on this. As far as um, the topic today, we have, um, we've had two major initiatives focused on um, non-opioid treatment options, include the prevention of unsafe prescribing as well as management of long-term prescription opioid use. They, um, as of November 28th, we have, um, 2018, we've awarded almost $94 million to, to fund 20 CR studies that include non pharmacological interventions for managing or treating non cancer pain. A number of our investigators are, are here in, in the room today. Um, but just looking at, at some of the, the areas patient education, CBT, system level interventions on um, integrative care and care coordination physical therapy and manual therapies, exercise, mindfulness, and, and acupuncture. While we don't have um, an, a specific um, initiative right now on the street um, that's focused on, on non-pharmacological therapies or treatment options, I do want to make you aware of our assessment of prevention, diagnosis, and treatment options announcement that, that is, is out. We are, we are going to be um, committing up to two, $32 million um, for a maximum of $3 million for each project and looking at three your projects. The letters of intent are due on January 31st of um, 2019. Um, 
And um, to learn more about this and other un- upcoming funding opportunities, I encourage you to take a look at our website. And if you want to find out more about the things that we've funded in the past, which is a way to give you some idea of the types of research that we're interested in, um, as well as to, to make sure that, that your, um, your research interest would fill a, an actual gap in our portfolio, I invite you to take a look and search our topics on, on our website. It's really a pretty comprehensive idea of, of of what it is that we fund and gives you an opportunity to explore our portfolio um, in a little bit more detail. And I guess I leave 23 minutes. Thank you. For seconds. <laughs> seconds.